Hi, my name is Lou, and um, just briefly going to go over the way that I measure my main bearing clearances because um, it doesn't seem like there's really many videos out there that show the right way to do it. Um, it seems like a lot of people are using plastic gauge, but I've done a couple tests and realized that the plastic gauge is not very accurate. Um, so the tools that I use is a micrometer and a dial bore gauge. This is a mechanical type. I know they make electronic. Um, this works pretty well. The uh, increments are five ten thousandths of an inch. So. Um, you know, you want to try to measure down to a ten thousandth of an inch, but it's kind of near impossible to get it exactly um, down to that fourth decimal place. So I get it as close as I can with these tools. So um, just like I said, this is going to be real brief. I'll do a new video later um, that shows it in detail. But um, basically, this is the uh, the block that I'm working with. It's an Acura Integra GSR block. Um, I'm running ACL bearings and a um, LS Integra crankshaft. So basically what you need to do in order to measure the bearing clearances the right way um, is first you got to mic your crank. So that's a shot of the crankshaft. Uh, there we go. Um, use a micrometer on every journal so we're just talking main bearing clearances right now you do all your mains one through five so I have this sheet here where I wrote down all of my measurements all right down to the fourth decimal place then what you want to do to measure your clearances is to take your mic in this case, um, say we're talking about main bearing journal number five, which is 2.1647 inches. I would put that exact measurement in this micrometer down to the 10,000th, okay? Then I would take my dial bore gauge and put it in the micrometer and then make sure that this gauge here zeroes out all right when it's sitting in the micrometer what that's going to do is it's going to set this tool to the exact size of the crankshaft journal then all you're going to do is take it and you're going to torque down your main caps with your bearings in them and you're going to use this dial bore gauge to um, you're going to rock it back and forth with the bearings loaded and the caps torqued down to spec and this is going to give you your clearance so basically if all of these increments on here are 0 .0005 and say you had um, the needle goes out uh, two measurements on this gauge you would know you have uh, one thousandth clearance which I just did on one of my journals and it's too tight so I've got to run a, uh, a looser bearing. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, you can always use plastic gauge but I recommend doing that at the end just to make sure that um, all of your measurements that you did were, were correct and if the plastic gauge shows something crazy off then it's time to kind of reassess what you did with the tools. Um, but like I said the plastic gauge I notice is you know, in one of my uh, my main journals, I had a clearance of 0 .0003, and the plastic gauge showed one and a half thou, so it was way off. Um, so that's it. I uh, hope this helps a lot of people measuring your uh, your clearances, and uh, I should make some more videos soon. Thanks.